Oi, oi. It's your boy, Ben Barrett. The one your parents warned you about. Mm. And I'm your girl, Al. And we're here with the third installment of The Weekend Escape. Yes, indeed. This is the show where we tell you all about what's happened in the past week of PC gaming and what we learned. For example, I learned that you should never ignore a particularly insistent dog because you don't know when it's your friends or family that may have been rebodied, Or indeed, if young Jeremy is simply stuck down the well. And I learned to never sacrifice your fins for legs because that man on the land ain't worth giving up your home in the sea, ladies. Sing it! <gasps> but not right now. Oh, okay. First, let's get to the news. Hey, Alice. Hey, Ben. Guess what? What? Well, a bunch of new information has leaked about the upcoming Rainbow Six Siege operators. Are they smooth operators? I... I don't know, because all of that would depend on their weapons, their gadgets, how they operate with other operators. All right, all right, sorry. What I can tell you is that there are three of them. One Polish and two from Hong Kong. There's an operator called Ella, who carries a concussion proximity mine. Mm -hmm. There's another called Ying, who depends on flash charges. And the last one's called Lesion. Ooh, sounds painful. As well it should, Legion uses cloaked toxic mines to injure enemies and slow them down. Sounds like that'll go off with a bang. What are you, what, what are you doing? I'm segueing, all right? Okay, fine. From bangs to Korean PC bangs, the internet cafes where so many of the world's best esport players have cut their teeth. Oh, okay, why are we talking about them now? Because Blizzard are planning to charge cafes by the hour if they want to offer new StarCraft Remastered to their customers. I bet that's gone down really swimmingly. But about, really happy about, that. about as well as you'd expect, mm -hmm. yeah. The Korean PC Bang Association have accused Blizzard of breaching antitrust law. They reckon the developers are misusing their market status to push unfair measures on small business owners. That's not a good look. Uh, how about some happier RTS news? Sure, if you've got some. Well, I do. The Skaven are coming to Total War Warhammer 2. It's not exactly a surprise because they've been in basically every trailer the game's released. But, you know, it's good because they're the best bit of Warhammer. They're the rat people, right? Yep. They're the ones who live deep underground, below the human cities of the old world. Most people consider them an urban legend right up until they jump out the ground and start doing the murders. Charming. Can't help but feel they give rats a bad name. In fact, games have been misrepresenting animals for a long time. Let's run through some of the stranger examples now. In Lord of the Rings, Shelob is a spider the size of a troll who blocks the way to Mordor. But extended Tolkien lore suggests she's actually a shapeshifter. According to Shadow of War developers Monolith, these days she likes to take the form of a sultry lady in an evening gown. The studios say they envision her as the dark counterpart to Galadriel, an important figure in Middle-earth who spins webs of influence as well as… silk? Probably silk. Anyway, none of that really goes the whole way to explaining why she looks like she's been subsisting on canapes rather than the poisoned corpses of orcs and goblins. Everything is a procedurally generated simulation in which you can play any object or creature in the universe. It's a brilliant concept, but it's got a problem. Turns out developing running animations for literally any creature you can think of is, to use game industry terminology for a second, a right ball ache. Choose to inhabit the body of a bear, for instance, and you'll get from A to B with all the grace of a cardboard box. Falling flat on your face is merely the first step in making it to your destination. Ah, to see the natural world in all its beauty. I've been to the year 2287. Not much has changed, but the cows have two heads now. The Brahmin are seen throughout the wasteland in the Fallout games, yet their biology is never fully explored. Yes, they have two heads, two hearts, and, for the bulls, four testicles, but do they share one mind? Maybe two personalities battle for dominance inside every Brahmin, but that struggle only manifests in the occasional moo. We'll never know for sure, but I can tell you that sometimes a Brahmin is born with just one head. On those occasions, they're considered mutants. In the cats versus dogs argument, cats are the winners, obviously. And Bethesda agree. There are over 20 breeds of Khajiit, some bipedal and some quadrupedal, but the ones you see around Skyrim and Cyrodiil are of the Cathay breed, a two-legged beast race that have a skeletal structure more similar to man than cat. What did they do with all the dogs? Kept them on four legs, woofing as your expendable companions. Known for their agility and stealth, preferring to use their claws over real weapons, the Khajiit make brilliant thieves and assassins. They're subject to a lot of bigotry in Tamaril, but why on earth would you try and rile one of these guys up? I mean, I'm pretty terrified of stroking my cat's tummy, let alone being racist to a walking, talking version. It might be a familiar idea now, after 23 Worms games across more than two decades, but the decision to give a slimy line a pair of arms and access to a suite of military hardware was a strange one. 
For one thing, it flew in the face of evolutionary science going back hundreds of years. What the scientists missed, though, is the potential for invertebrates to account for trajectory and wind direction while firing off a wicked cool bazooka trick shot. Makes Darwin look pretty silly with all that noise about birds and different sized beaks. Animals, eh? What are they like? Little scurrying, furry, four legged. Weird... Sorry, go on. Those cheeky scamps. Yes. Yes. Mm. Speaking of birds, it's time to talk about what's going cheap on Steam. Are you trying to do a segue again? Cheap, cheap. Right, who, who writes this crap? Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. Anyway, what is going cheap? Let's assume a bonus shooting game's uh, under seven pounds. Saints Row the third is. Okay. And it's arguably the best of the bunch. Okay. The best of a bad bunch? Mm. Mm, that's probably a bit too mean. Okay. Either way, it's six ninety nine on Steam right now, and it's almost definitely worth your hard-earned cash. Okay, what makes you say that? You, the player, are mm. the leader of the third street saints going up against three different rival gangs in a turf war it's a bit like gta but not i say not because in saints Row the third you can wield the dildo as a weapon sold that's it i need to go buy this game right no, now no not right now yeah. no ben not right now no ben not right now no ben come back ben ben no Bye. come back So, have you ever heard of a game called Half-Life 2? It's only $6.99 on Steam right now. I mean, of course I it's have. It's a seminal I mean... game from a studio called Valve Software about one man shooting adventures in a future Eastern Europe. Do you know much about first-person shooters, Alice? Yeah, I do. Actually. This is one of the best, even 10 years on from its last episode. It's frantic, atmospheric, and beautifully paced. Thanks for the Freeman's planning on that one, Ben. I've definitely never heard Half -Life. of Half-Life. H-A-L. You really should be writing this down, you know. Listen. It's, you're so welcome for all this advice I'm giving you. It's important to educate people, you know, get them up to speed, get them to understand modern gaming. Gee, thanks so much, Ben. No worries. This next game might not be of any relevance to you, seeing as you're missing a key component of it. Oh, do you have to be ugly, poor? Friends, Ben. You need friends to be ugly. And I don't want the world to see me, cause I don't think the Yeah, fair enough, can't we? Yeah, I was going to. For those of you who don't flinch at the touch of a fellow human being, this game goes down swimmingly at parties. Mount Your Friends is currently three ninety nine on Steam. Sorry, mount your mount your friends. Is that that's what we're meant to be doing with our friends? Right, I've got some things I need. No, to... Ben, stay. Okay, fine. Stop. Fine. Right. Not in usual circumstances, no. But in this game, the aim is to get as high or as far as you can. There are numerous different challenges, but my favourite is climbing on top of a goat and creating one massive tower of bodies. Sounds easy enough, I'll do it tonight. Yeah, no, it would be if you didn't have to control each limb with a different button. Yeah, it does feel like that sometimes. Yeah, and all characters have swinging, um, you know. No, Alice, I, I don't, uh, what? Um, the bits down there, they, 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 they all swing. Right, that's kind of hilariously crude. Maybe I need to get some friends and play this game. Maybe, but can you hold your fire on a new social life until we've done the patch notes? Right, Alice, in an attempt to make patch notes more interesting, something that doesn't need to actually happen, but we're just going to flow with it, yeah, it I want you to tell me everything that's going on in the next League of Legends patch within the next 10 seconds, starting in 3, 2, 1. No. So, there's a new champion called Orn. Eight Every masterwork time. items for those on his team. Nurse of Draven, Buster Ezreal, Ergot on Zed, Star Guardian skins, she's invasion and a new PvE mode. Ari, an ounce pack, now, a new emotes feature. Um, and, <sighs> <laughs> you, Ben, mm. now have to tell me and the lovely people at home, you have 10 seconds to mm. tell us everything that's going on in the new World of Warcraft Argus update. Right. And Argus can only be one of the things you say. Okay. Three, Start now. Oh, okay, two, one, go. Well, one of them is Argus, mm. and then there's three new zones. There's a dungeon, there's a raid, there's a new sword progression system. There is also a update to relics so to make your artifacts better, and probably and something done. else. I think that was a very fair fight, as always. Well, I think you just beat me all the Well time. done on your honorable acting. Thank you. It's good. Everyone's I, very impressed. I try really hard. It's time to read my fan mail. No, Ben. No, no. This isn't about you, unless you're Skaven. The tests were inconclusive. You know that. And I'd like it if you'd stop bringing it up. Well, okay. This first comment is on our announcement trailer for the Skaven, and it's more of an exclamation than a comment. And it says, Oh shit, they do exist. 
Well, that's exactly what the Empire are trying to hide from you, Spaghetti and Sauce. And he's not the only one. This comes from Farknot and says, I only see a black screen, nothing about these children's stories called Skaven. Ah, uh, the eyes refuse to see. I've got a good one from our investigation into whether Hellblade has permadeath or not, which says... I was extra careful how I progressed in the game by having this constant fear of save slash delete, says Paracojo. I can't remember when I felt this kind of dread in years. Good job, Ninja Theory. Good job, Ninja Theory. It's definitely got everyone talking, which is a huge success for such a small studio. And talking of success, it's time to end the show. That is that. All that's left to do is sing an ode to the sea. <gasps> Would you look at the time? If you enjoyed this episode, up until now at least, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Yep, and keep coming back to the PC Games End channel where we do lots of this kind of stuff. The videos, not the singing. Although... Bye. Bye, everyone. It was good. Yes, bye. It's all that I want, and I waited for so long. <laughs> they say, can't you see? You're just not the one for me. I know it might be wrong, but <laughs> I'm in love with Stacey's mom.